Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you resonate with the messages, leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. If you don't resonate, check the links in the first comment. Maybe there is something there for you. And now guys, let's find out together what messages want to come through for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see where the energies are aligning for you here we go these two cards guys breathe and never ending story so the calling to align with your higher self which is the main thing that this card is always able to um, to give me inner knowing and the never-ending story so something uh, some pattern maybe that is going on for quite some time for you maybe a connection also something that has um, roots back in time maybe some of you are called to um, evaluate something that sees its origin back in time and now you have to think very deeply about it let's see what the tower has to say for you libra sun moon rising and venus okay six of swords knight of wands and the star card guys alignment is here with the star just like the brief energy that i was referring to a couple of moments ago because the star card yes is wishful feeling and healing of course but it's also the ability i want to say to to shine the true version of yourself being completely aligned with who you are the beautiful human being that you are all the things that you want to be the the brightest ver version of yourself there is quite quite a passion uh, in this flow um, of energies because the knight of wands is someone who is driven ready to to go and play the game because he is uh, so passionate about it it is possible that some of you um, are involved in a situation that requires uh, travel because we have the quiet movement of the six of swords paired with the knight of wands that can be uh, going uh, the distance meaning uh, as an energy Six of Swords, a quiet um, decision to move things forward. I feel that this can be linked also to the brief energy because the Star and the Six of Swords are very uh, quiet energy, it, very introspective, I want to say, is the feeling that I'm getting. The Knight of Wands can be someone, uh, can be some of you, for sure, that are very passionate, but uh, the feeling is that it's possible that for others of you uh, can be the person that you are interested in someone that um, captures your passion someone that you care about in a very um, meaningful way let's see and clarify this combination guys the word knight of swords eight of cups the wish and the healing that uh, we can see on the table has come to play after a decision very well thought by some of you to leave behind something that uh, didn't fulfill your heart and soul 
just like this man, brave enough to go all out on, a, on an adventure to see um, fulfilled his desires, basically, is going is going out to pursue the nine and the ten of cups. The word card is paired with the six of swords, meaning that was a cycle was indeed called to be uh, closed, or it's going to be closed. For those of you that are still in the never-ending uh, story energy, meaning that there is something that requires some kind of conclusion, or a phase must be completed in order to move to the next one. This can also be linked to the connection between you and the person that you uh, definitely um, are interested in and that you care about. We have two Knights energy here. A very passionate one and one that is so excited to um, speak that sometimes the words that are spoken can be even harsh because they are so um, so fast spoken that uh, there is the excitement uh, in play that can be even a source of confusion sometimes. But uh, this can go two ways. This can be you who are called even to travel, of course, in order to see the person that um, you have feeling for and so you are channeling a passionate energy and a communication um, very fast also at the same time and for others of you these are the two of you basically one channeling a more passionate energy the other one a more exciting and um, very uh, active on the communication level um, energy either way there will be the chance to see manifested a wish after uh, something um, has found its conclusion healing will be granted lessons will be learned you libra will have the chance either way to move um, quietly towards the next phase of your journey align with yourself shine your brightest light and you will see that the energies will align for you according to your wishes and desires. So, quite an encouraging and hopeful reading for you guys. I will leave it at that for now. I truly hope it was helpful. I'll continue on Vimeo. I'll see you there if you want to join me. The link is below. Let us know if you resonate with these messages. Leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, I wish you all the best and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.